right here is Poland's best, Joanna Guillaume Jacek. She really is the total package, Daniel Cormier, as a fighter inside the octagon and as an intimidator outside of it. I mean, that, that stare down will cut a man like me right down. Oh, it's unbelievable, John. I mean, just the, the mind game that Joanna can play on her opponents is unreal. Every time I think about I think about how she tortured Carla Esparza leading into her first UFC championship fight. It seemed as though Esparza just wanted to be done with it by the time the whole thing was over. But you can only talk so much. Ultimately, you have to back it up, and Joanna Jacek sure can back it up. All right, so here she is, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, all smiles as she makes the walk here tonight, looking to go out the way she came in as the undisputed champion at 125 pounds. Most people believe it is gonna take a huge effort from one of these fellow contender types to dethrone this UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Let's see how she does in this defense here tonight. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Both fighters are 32. Shevchenko will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Our rounds to the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, presenting the challenger, Joanna Yelchak! And now introducing the champion, fighting! Out of the red corner! This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valentina. Bullet, Chef Jekko! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here under mixed martial arts rules. They can head to the popcorn booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty. Don't touch it. Cover it with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker. Both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the mat. Oh! Vicious combo there! Big knee to the body. So 
the fighters clinch here early, and she has really historically done some of her best work in these type of fighting situations. Yes, yeah, she does a great job of overwhelming you with this clinch position. With all the homework, with all the detail, it's hard to keep up. She gives you a test every single day. You don't get a test every week, every right. quarter. You get a test every day whenever you're fighting this young lady. Straight right hand, but she misses. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, that kick is good by Joanna Young Jacek. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Man, these kicks by her are just solid, and she is showing no signs of slowing down. No signs of slowing down. She can throw as many kicks as her opponent will allow her to. Big kick lands. Oh, you can see her limp it a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. Nice straight punch. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have now landed for Yolanda Yonjic. Got clip with the right hand. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without her. There's that patented Yohani Young Jacek jab. Might be the best jab for any man or woman in the UFC at present. Her head coach Mike Brown certainly thinks so. She lands a switch knee. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Uppercut there blocked by Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, strong punch there by Young Jacek. over two minutes to go in round one. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Right hand punch to clinch. Trying to establish that jab once again. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch lands. Man, she's got a pretty good left hand, went to it there. She's a right-handed fighter, but the left side has become just as good as the right side. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Powerful leg kick lands. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep well, that left hand has been there for her tonight. Not on that attempt. Fantastic timing. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Shevchenko's going for a choke. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This is tight. Stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? And she is landing them with full force every time she throws them. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division. And if the previous round is any indication, 
those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Nice. Nice body kick there. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Just missed with the left there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Oh, knee to the head. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, she put everything into that leg kick. She threw her entire body into that kick, and you see the damage that is caused her. 76 total strikes have now landed for Yolanda Yonjacek. Well, I gotta think, DC, anytime you're above 50% on the connection rate, you gotta feel pretty good. 53% the accuracy thus far against Valentina Shevchenko. Nice loop and punch. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves oh. on. She's just sticking. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. There's the double leg. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Enough to take down land. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so. Shevchenko's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control right. anymore because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. Oh, pretty good series of punches by her there. She certainly has found the range early tonight. She can box with anybody in the world, and she's showing that tonight. <laughs> well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Yeon Jaicek's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That was my hand.
sure she could have drawn it up much better. Just a beautiful strike to end the fight for her opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that flush shot coming. So this is exactly the way she drew it up. She told us during fight week that she had to find a way to finish this fight, to send a message to the rest of this division. Message sent. So there she is, folks, the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion, and she couldn't have drawn it up any better than this. A knockout to leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by So there she is, and this is going to be a celebration that goes deep into the night. We have a new UFC Women's Flyweight Champ. I mean, she did it in such a phenomenal fashion. What a performance to become the UFC Women's Flyweight Champion. Many didn't believe that she had a chance, but she knew she had the ability to get it done. Congratulations. Why would I aim for the head? He got a bag and he bragged now. I got to check and say less. Don't you know everything lag now? If it ain't put it to press, it's